Um, because yeah, it's the, the employment place is going to get uh, get a little bit interesting, uh, especially around this whole thing of of automation. Um, I don't know, Erica, what what are your whole thoughts about uh, you know the rise of the machines and AI? Um, the fact that you've been in the insure tech space and all of this, do you think that that fear is something that could happen? We could get automation that replaces actuaries, or are actuaries here to stay? Michael, yes, robots are coming for your job. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. Um, I do believe that actuaries should be, should consider this. Uh, would be actuaries that are currently studying should consider it. And that's why I liked Kiara's um, answer earlier and her chatting about the fact that she wants to be a data scientist, actually. Uh, I think that's extremely important. And then, of course, you also get to help to steer the direction of, of where data science in insurance is going. But also with the understanding that as you go through this and you are developing your, the algorithms, the models, etc., there will come a time where a lot of what an individual is currently doing, an actuary or a data scientist, will be automated. So you need to broaden your skills well beyond just being able to write an algorithm. You need to be able to interact with AI in such a way that you as a human can guide it. Um, I, I, I'm, to be honest with you, I am very doubtful of whether we will ever get to general artificial intelligence. So most likely, at least in our lifetimes, we will need to guide the machines to do what we need them to do. So I would say as an actuary, broaden your skills and become more uh, adept at understanding situations because you as a human will need to tell the machine where to go and what to do because it will not understand the context of the situation. Okay. 